Welcome to Real Hungry, live from <laughs> Out of Pocket Studios. Hell We're yeah. back. We're, this is like a reboot. We're back. This is kind of like a reboot in a way to to, a to reference cinema. It's a requel. Um, requel, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> you know the vibe, smoking hash, eating yeah. good shit, talking about good cinema. I talking got my shit. uncut gem shirt eating on. Shit. We gonna we gonna talk a little bit about what a twenty four got going on soon. We just wanted to do like a. <laughs> Reintroduction. So we're real hungry. I'm Jimmy Luca. This is my <coughs> great co-host and co-creator Eric Gomes. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, and we're just we we've got a bunch of fucking exotic drinks and snacks from our boy. Hey, the company name Exotics Exotic Munchies Four Hundred One. Exotic our Munchies. Boy Justin. Shout out to Justin. I didn't know if we could name drop him specifically but it, CEO. we'll bleep we'll bleep it out if there's an issue i don't think legally, there will be but i don't think there will be yeah nah. exotic munchies 401 instagram give it a follow give it an order what, what do we have over there we got some slices we got some slices from uh francesco's pizza in uh providence they're on hope street we've seen uh this dude last time he came here pornoy he was like raving about them. Said it was his favorite out it's here. It's like the highest rated one in Rhode Island, right? Now for him. Nah, I don't think for so. For him. No? Nah, he gave He said it was his favorite, so I would assume it's the highest. It's his one. favorite, but he gave I'm pretty sure he gave them like an eight one and he gave Marvin an eight four. Oh, maybe then. It is pretty high for Portnoy though, eight one. What do you think about? Have you had it before? I've had it before. I like it. I I, I haven't gotten a full pie, I've just gotten the slices, but I'll, I'll we were gonna give, do. I'll give, fu- it a, I'll give it an official rank. We were gonna do the fucking, and these things better be worth it when I have them for the bullshit that we went through tonight with this. By the yeah, way, I'm not even gonna go back. Little Caesars, I want my fucking four dollars. You know me. You know how I am. I'm gonna hit them. Yo, I'm when, hit you, them. when you hit me on the phone, I was like, yo, you want to just get a refund? I was like, how much? So they said four dollars. I was like, no, I'll split it with you. Don't get it. Don't get me wrong. Niggas make money, but yo, it's, it's the principle. principle. It's principle. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I Listen, it. I know it wasn't over no four dollars. It's fucking. What do we learn in mob? That's movies? that poly shit, man. Yeah. What do we learn in mob movies? It's the principle. It's the principle, man. It's a slap in the face. I might go pick them up tonight anyway and just maybe do, like, a bonus <laughs> reel on this shit. Like, listen. It's, if I have the it's, time. It's Jimmy. I'm back from my I'm shit. I'm back from my shit. Like, I'm gonna it's eat been, her. like, four hours. Guess what? We're doing... The, when are we doing this podcast TikTok, right now? It's bitch. fucking... What time is it? It's about to be 8.30. About to taking be you guys behind the scenes and shit. Yeah. I'm going to go pick them shits up at 8.55. BTS, man. 8.55, bro. 8.55? I respect it. What... Was the last movie you watched in the theater? In the theater? Yeah. I saw a movie called Late Night with the Devil. How was that? Because I've been it. seeing that pop up. I liked it. What do you give it out of 10? Uh, On a regular scale or a horror movie scale? Regular scale. I, I, would, I would say regular scale for all horror movies, period. Regular scale. I liked, <coughs> I liked a lot of it, but some of it was a little... Little, little corny, little hokey type shit. Yeah. Uh, it was like a solid 7.5. Like, it was good. It was 7.5 ain't bad. It was very creative, though. Like, it was a it was a, a creative... Uh, I'd never seen a plot like that before. What would you give it on the horror scale? Well, like, it's bumping to like a 7.9 on, on the yeah? horror scale. Yeah. All right. I liked it. I liked the whole That's not the premise. You know what I'm saying? Some fucking demon shit and devil shit and yeah, supernatural bro. shit. I want to talk. Stuff. I want to talk about. There's the, a thing behind that though. They uh, there's like controversy behind that movie because they used AI for some of it. How so, was that? That's what I wanted to ask you about. So because I read about it, it was only like. So it it's based on like the, it's like a talk show, like a late night talk show. So every time they cut away, they put like you know how like David Letterman will have like the, yeah yeah David Letterman in New York live mm-hmm. shit. It's like. The graphic that they put up was made by AI, generated by them, but then they had a team go in and scrub it and fix it and everything like that. So, like, but just the original idea for the cutaways, like the welcome backs and all that bullshit was right. all AI generated. Huh. So people were mad about that, but it was made, the movie was made before those strikes happened and all that. You know, AI has been around for a minute. I don't want that shit to take over. I don't either. Like film at all. Making scripts and shit like that. I like think that's we're mu- crazy. I think we're mutual on that. Yeah. Like I don't we've like always that. been mutual on and that. And I don't want AI like if fucking Robert De Niro doesn't want to do the movie, they fucking AI Robert De Niro's fucking face in there. Like Yeah, be, nah, that's fucking insane. I'll be heated. 
Um, the last movie I watched in theaters was actually I took Alexandria to go watch Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, this past yeah, weekend. yeah, yeah. What I, was the little tagline on it? What's the Ghostbusters? Frozen Empire. Frozen Empire. Frozen Empire. I was first one. Did you watch that first one? No, After I Life? didn't watch it. No, that's the one with the kids, right? Yeah. No, I didn't watch it. It was actually like it wasn't bad, and uh, I know you're a big fan of the, the first, the original one. The first one's fucking gas. And um, remember what I told you I mean, when I hit you up that day. What'd you sound? Oh, about the 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 song. The original, original song, song is like yeah. t- top three movie songs of all 100%, time. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Um, it's a fun. Fro- that first one I still like better. The uh, the afterlife. Yeah. Um, they got like. <coughs> I'll let you watch it. I don't want to spoil it for you, but they uh they 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 show a lot of love. They pay homage almost to, to the original. To the original and also just the the one who the one who passed away the actor yeah, yeah I should yeah. have that off the top of my head the one who who played um Spangler is that how you say his yeah, name yeah I listen we talked about it the other day and I looked up the name uh I don't remember the name though it's all right it's our first time back Rick we Moranis was in that movie right the the, the newer one yeah guy from Honey I Shrunk the Kids yeah no he wasn't he wasn't in it he wasn't I th- is somebody told me this past weekend at the at the theater that he's done with film oh. Like, which makes sense because I haven't seen them in I fucking them in anything since we were kids. So, yeah. Um, but quick review. We're, we're going to have quick reviews all over the place. Frozen Empire was, I liked that they returned to New York because in that first one, it was like, it's iconic. it was in like Oklahoma. Yeah. Well, the, first? the first, the first one out of the new oh, I thought you meant the two. original one. The first one out of the new two was in Oklahoma and now this one. Is back in New York. They're back in the firehouse. Like Hell it's dope yeah. how they did that. My only complaint about Frozen Empire for those who have seen it, they know what I'm talking about. It has a little bit of like an Avengers major blockbuster feel. Like it almost feels like a superhero movie. Um, kind of like getting like a super gang together and shit. Which these movies all reach franchises all reach that certain feel, that certain point now. Yeah. That's the only thing with franchises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um a lot of callbacks, a lot of yeah. bringing this person. Like the first one was dope because it was very like ghost busting, but this one was like ghost busting and kinda like there's a superhero involved. Uh-huh. This dude who can control fire. What? Uh, but they tied it to like an ancient thing that had to do with the spiritual yeah, realm. Yeah. I like there was there was some stuff in it about how like because what I've always loved about Ghostbusters is that it's like it connects spirits to science, which I've told you yeah. I, I love about Interstellar. Um, but they did it more in this movie. They broke it down more about how, like, you know, when I think they they said something along the lines of, like, when you die, your soul pretty much ends up, like, going into the cosmos, mm-hmm. which which I thought was dope. Um but this one, this one was dope too. This one was actually dedicated to Howard, which was the, I don't know if he was the original director of the first Ghostbusters, um, but nonetheless, these first two Ghostbusters movies, they were out of the new bunch, um, not the all-female cast. I heard that one was trash. I didn't even bother watching I didn't it. See, I haven't seen any of them but the first two, the yeah. original two. I didn't even watch the second one, actually. With the Jet Puff Marshmallow? That's the one with the Jet Puff Marshmallow? I think, so. that's I think that's the in the first one, it? one. Is it? Yeah. I think that is in the first one. I remember the poster of the second one is like iconic to me with like the ghost with the, the two fingers up. Yes. Fire. I love. Oh, you know who was in uh, Frozen Empire? Slimer. Really? Yeah. Whoa. So it was dope. Finn, Wol- Finn, Finn uh, Wolfhard or Wolfhard. Yeah. Pause. I don't fucking know. <laughs> His, how to the, say how the to kid from uh, Stranger, Stranger Things, Things and it too. Yes, yeah. um, my daughter loves him at this point. Like she, yeah. she's growing up watching this kid in like a lot of like. He might be like New Chalamet in a few years. Yeah, no bullshit. Kind of got the same <coughs> vibe, he, but she's seen him in nothing but spooky things. So like, she's yeah. big fan of that. Makes sense. I don't even know like what some Yo, of these honestly, things are. Yo, honestly, I I remember some of them, but other ones it's going to be like This I, is like a peach. I can't that's peach. That's peach. That's a peach Coca-Cola. Peach Coca-Cola. Let me see what the fuck is going on over here. I can't over caffeinate especially at this time. My my heart starts wilding out. How's, you how's, may, I'm going to air sip that. How's the sniff on that? 
Smell good? I'm not a big fan of Coke in general, but maybe since it's not American, I might like it a little more. This is a peach Coke. It's not bad, actually. You don't have the air. We, we should have joined earlier. I don't give a fuck, right? A little behind the scenes. Um, Why wasn't that movie released in, like, June? That's not bad. You want to try in that? In the summer. I'm just smacked right now, so I need you something know what I'm in my mouth. That's a summer movie, bro. It, it is a summer movie. Summer, no? It is a summer movie, yeah. Did they play Cruel Summer in the movie? No. Oh, they played it in the in the trailer and that shit was Did it. they really? Yeah. I didn't even see the trailer too too much. Um How you like the It 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 wasn't bad. I think I'm not gonna like this, but I'm we have to try it anyway. That's blueberry coke. That's a blueberry coke. Have you had it yet? I've had a sip of that one. Try this. I don't like Coke in like I don't like, like I don't like cola. I, what would you like, pick for weird. a soda? Like your favorite soda. Like it's a tie between, I mean, if I can't tie, can I tie? You can. All right. Like orange, grape, and root beer are like my top three. Alexandra loves root beer. I used I'm to a, love Dr. Pepper too. I'm a though. big Sprite guy. Like I could drink that shit like it's you, had, you, you like Fresca? Fresca. Fresca's like. It's like a Sprite in a 7-Eleven. Like, right? What? Seven you ever up. had a 7-Eleven? 7-Up. Seven, seven 7-Up. Seven seven up. Up. I'm smacked right <laughs> this now. This guy. It's like a, a Mountain Dew ginger ale Sprite situation. It's, uh, I'm not a fan of that one. Not the blueberry one? Nah. But if I was... A, I'm also not a fan of a lot of blueberry things. Yeah. Um, blueberry. Oh, actually, it says blueberry right on it. The only... Yeah, that's the only oh, one that you could, like, really see the label. The this bag, looks... all fucking... Whatever language this is. They're from like Japan, China. There's a few different places. We have to save some of these for Alexandra. She will yeah, kill nah, us. Yeah, of course. This is, a, this is a Skittles like gummies, it looks yeah. like. It smells good. I'll give, I'll give it It does that. smell fit. Yeah. So like I have that thing about me, Eric, where the only blueberry things I like are either muffins or pancake, and sometimes it's just muffins. Like blueberry pie? You don't like blueberry pie? No, nah, I'm not a fan. It's just oh, overwhelming. Man, so good, bro. I think. I feel you. I feel you. I'm a I'm an apple pie guy though. I like apple pie as well, but I think I would go blueberry over apple. Skittles, gummies. Holy fuck! This ain't bad. This is good. This is like a. You know when the. Uh, here, when the I will raise your it's good. But do you know when the freeze pops melt? Yeah. This tastes like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I like that. You know that. what? You're onto something over I like there, that. pal. Um, the thing about these snacks, they don't have any fucking bad shit in them. I mean, obviously, there's sugar and shit in it, but mm-hmm. they don't have, like, the red dyes and all that stuff. Yeah, like yeah, that. All that stuff is banned foreign. in those foreign countries. So that's that's what's up. I will raise you. Raise me, raise a, me and it's uh, good, man. Amazing. Amazing. Looks like there's grape and apple, mango, orange. What the fuck? We got a strawberry. Super Mario, the movie. You seen that? You saw that promo. I love that one, yeah. Yeah, it's good. These things look. Okay. Yeah. Okay. These are. uh, This is a. This is a very appropriate name. Exotic munchies. Because this is like. Yeah, this is what we'd be going through. This is what I'm fulfilling right now. Okay. I'm going to open this bad boy up. It's some type of strawberry filled chocolate thing. Man, that green one is good. That green one is good. <laughs> he found the one flavor. <laughs> All right. What do you got there? Some strawberry filled like. Oh, the Oreo joints? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's like Oreo wafers with like. like Don't tell me that. Some kind of cream with them. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Oh, I feel crispy. You look. Yo, pass that over here. This shit bro. tastes like real strawberries, bro. Shit. Gonna get mad crumbs on my cured collection fucking sweatshirt, man. Fuck me. This shit tastes like a strawberry. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. That's good. I'm a vanilla guy. Big vanilla guy. You're a vanilla guy? I'm a vanilla guy, bro. That's my taste. That's what I like. <laughs> Boy, it's real plain Jane over here. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it, sometimes it could be like Madagascar vanilla. You know, it could be Ooh, a little bit of a darker a little, vanilla. A little black flakes you know? in it. 
Now, so if you if you go to like a, what's the one in New York? Which one? The truck what one in New York. The truck. truck. Oh, Mr. Softy. Again, a chocolate or a vanilla. I used to get a banana shake at Mr. Yo. Whoa. They had a banana shake, bro. That was like. Like I like it, it was sex before sex. Like before I lost my virginity, that was what sex was. The was banana, the, banana the banana shake from Mr. Terry, Softy? Huh? Yo, that's crazy. I uh, I'm allergic to banana. I would love a banana shake though. This actually tastes like the vanilla that I like. It smells good. It's got a nice aroma. That's probably like the best thing I've had so far on this table. Wow! Right? That's kind of crazy. That shit don't taste like no regular Oreo. It's like fuck. Of course I knew what God that was damn. Said. Let me get this. Let me get this very salty. I'm very like. We're gonna do this and then we're gonna talk about Dune Two because that movie was oh, yeah. fucking fire. Like one of the best sci-fi movies out of a franchise or a sci-fi what movies ever that I've seen. Gaive or something like that. The Asanda Gaive. What is it? How you say that? Lisan, Lisan, Lisan Al Gaib. Lisan Al Gaib. I'm a reader of the book. <laughs> it's taking me fucking three years, but I'm a reader of the book. Damn, I forgot we had these slices over here. I don't know how I feel about this right here. Just fucking eat it. Roasted garlic oyster flavor. Hell Please. yeah. It's like a oysters Rockefeller. Here we go. My boy doesn't love the seafood, huh? He huh? <laughs> said no. You tried an oyster for the first time last summer, no? I did. What is this? Give the oyster a review. Do we know? That might be like white peach Fanta, maybe? White peach Fanta. Here we go. Come on. It's a fire. Not a, I, don't, I don't need... Now that makes me not want to have roasted garlic oyster. I'm appreciative of everything on this table, by the I'm way. A seaf- I'm a seafood guy. So. I got to balance that out with a sweet. Let me get that vanilla bitch again. Seafood's not for everybody. I like certain seafoods. That shit is fire. This is an introduction episode. We're just talking about what we like and don't kinda like. Kind of gives me like a shrimp vibe. You know shrimp? You ever had shrimp chips? Yeah. Kind of gives me a shrimp chip vibe. This is also not for me. Chili lemon, uh, chili lemon and lemon and Chili lemon crab. Not doing it. I won't even try <laughs> it. You're not going to try it. <laughs> Man. For the sake of content, I'll try it. Yeah, fuck it. I was going to eat those nasty little fucking... <laughs> what was it? I was going to eat those nasty little fucking pizza cupcakes. Fucking dickheads. I look like such a high boy right now. Just We are high boys. Just curled up to my chip bag. This one ain't bad, but we'll not eat again. Give it a little try. Go ahead, get on, get on the Dune wave. Yo, why you sip that? The knee, bro. This man is like, he just kills the sci-fi genre time and time again. That ain't bad. And um. Not bad. Everybody talks shit about Dune One. Not everybody. Dune One actually is critically like, like people loved it critically. There's some people who are like, "Oh, it's a slow movie, whatever." But at the end of the day, like, yo, these universes, you gotta build them. Especially if you're like, it's something to be taken seriously, you know, not like a silly sci-fi movie. Has anybody has anybody been hating on the second one? No, no, not at all. all right, Bro, you seen it once or twice? I've seen it twice. I would watch it a third time. I want to watch it in IMAX one more time because I regret, like, not seeing it. I saw it again in IMAX last week. Yeah? (laughs) How many times is that? Before I watched, twice. Before I watched uh, Late Night with the Devil. Watched them both in a row. Pop that pizza open, actually. Pop that pizza open. (laughs) (laughs) I don't like... They should have gave us two boxes. I don't like that they stacked these fucking slices, man. Yeah, they're That's, fucking animals. What happened? It's mad greasy from the fucking... Uh, from the pepperoni, bro. Animals, bro. Look at that. 
That's wild. It's just going to make me shit my fucking pants. Yeah, you can. Francesco's going to shit my pants, man. Appreciate That's you, bad big publicity. dog. They got Look the, at uh, that. They got the, um, they got the review playing on a loop. <laughs> what are they doing over there? They just like, this is not, this, that's crazy. I'm excited about. Uh, Shout out to them, though. Anna Vesuviano's April. Cheers me, brother. Oh, yo. <laughs> shout out to my boy, Ant, bro. Yeah, shout out to Ant, dog. Cheers. Dang, touch tips. Hmm. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. You've mm. had them before, no? I have. Whole pie or slices? Whole pie, but these slices are like different from the whole pie. They're a different type, but they still smack. I feel like they um they sat in the box. Oh, actually, you know what it might have been? Mm. When you get the slices... I know it's, that wouldn't make sense. I want to say you when you, usually you get the slices, they'll reheat the slices, so it's like getting reheated, like a double baked pizza kind of. Mm-hmm. But this just came. This was a fresh one, came straight out. Their crust kind of reminds me of San Sarpio's, especially when you get the pie. Yeah, especially when you get the pie. It's like a less crunchy San Sarpio's. You had the lamb at San Sarpio's. I certainly did. It's fucking gas. It's amazing. Being in there and eating in there makes me want to fucking fight somebody outside. It's such a like it's just that place, man. Grimy, straight <laughs> out of like a fucking Martin Scorsese film in New York kind of vibe. Thank you. It reminds me of the old Tommies. You ever been in the old Tommies before? Yes. Bro, it was like somebody's fucking basement. It looked dingy. Legendary. Um But Doom Tool, yo. I'm giving that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give a grade and keep talking about it. I'm gonna give that movie. I think I gave that movie a fucking nine point seven, bro. Nine seven. Nine seven. It's high up there for me. The first one I gave. I gave the first one an eight nine. Eight nine. Mm-hmm. That's a big jump. Yeah. I think I might like the first one a little better. What? Yeah, I think so. I like world building. I'm not even mad at you for that because we need more people like you in this world, bro. I appreciate it. But I did love Why the, can't people? I like the unfolding of the prophecy. Like that shit, they, that's very good writing in the second one. I hate to sound, real. and I know you're going to agree, especially when you look all, when you're over there looking all fucking sophisticated with your cigar and your glasses on and shit. But you're just sophisticated by nature with your glasses. I'm sorry. Appreciate it, man. But um, you're not an actual film purist. If you watch movies that have, I won't even call you a film guy. Like, don't even, don't even piss me off and call yourself a film guy because I'm going to call you out. If you cannot fucking appreciate a movie that has great dialogue, that has well-needed world-building and character development, you're not a film guy. I'm sorry. I'm taking your fucking card, and I, we can do that. I will definitely take the ID. Mm-hmm. I'm checking them at the door. So, you better come correct. Dune one had that, needed that. Dune two. If you're a Star Wars fan, I gave you guys my score, and I'm gonna keep sucking its dick. If you're a Star Wars fan, you know this is Denise Empire. Dune two was Denise Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, yeah. The twist. How nonstop it is from point A to point B. Would like you rather? Stupid. Would you rather watch your two favorite Star Wars movies, or would you rather watch the two Dune movies? Right now, in a row. Right now, the two Dune movies in a row. Really? Yeah. Also, that Star Wars shit that I sent you—that's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck is doing that? Yeah. That's that's crazy. Wild, bro. <laughs> Those people need to get checked medically. Mm-hmm. Star Wars fans are nuts sometimes. They're doing a... And just so you know, I'm a big Star Wars guy, but I have to admit, in case you guys didn't know this fact, Dune directly, like, 
influenced Star Wars. Yeah. Like he was that a fan book, of the books. He was a huge fan of the books. He got inspired by the books, you could tell, with the with the mysterious aspect with the voice and the force and spice and the Yo, religion with those big and the joints, the big fucking in the snow. Mm-hmm. Kind of gives me a vibe with the uh the big machines that they be taking out, the harvesters. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um big fan though. I tell people all the time, I describe it like this. Star Wars meets Game of Thrones. Go watch it if you haven't. Who's your favorite like uh performance in that one? Is it is it this guy? Uh Bardem? Austin Butler is the only good Austin answer. Butler. Really? Yeah. Respect it. Austin Butler just fucking like <clears throat> Obviously, Timothy and the other people even had more screen time. But Austin Butler was a fucking demon in that movie. He was. Like, I, wow. He he goes off the fucking walls. Like, he's he does. out of his mind. His first appearance for me and for almost everybody, bro, once upon a time in Hollywood, he only had, like, he didn't, five minutes in that scene. He didn't scene. say much. He didn't say much, but it was just like, yo, this dude looks fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, I... He's one of those people, like, I don't know if you felt like this when you watched it at the time. Like, when I watched that movie in the theater, I was like, I don't know who that is, but I want to see him more. He's going to be a star. Yeah. He was in the, the, uh, the Maverick, right? He was in Maverick? I think he's in Maverick. Yeah. And he um, was in, uh, obviously, Elvis. Yeah. But. How you like that black and white? I thought that was fire. I thought that, I was, thought that good, was dope with the black sun. That was a good choice. With the black sun, bro. They were They were just. Wilding out. I think Bardown's my favorite performance. W- it's like subdued, but it's also like intense in some parts. Like he gets the funny laugh. I would give him. I would give him second. I, I would honestly say sec, very sec, close second favorite performance. Yeah. Yo, when 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 she when he's showing her the uh, I don't know what they call it, but it's like the pool of all their ancestors' water, mm-hmm. and she starts to cry, and he like he he wipes the tear and. Like yeah, 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 yeah. he was yeah. never wasted tears even for the dead. He just I'm ended like, up being a meme. Like, like his character bro, was yeah, yeah. Um, as it was written, man. As it was written, this movie just made me like respect Denis a whole lot more than I already was, and he didn't even need that much more respect for me. But like, yeah. it's to a point where like he's probably in my top three favorite. He's directors probably now. the best. I think he's the best director of his generation, maybe. Uh, I'm going to still say Nolan. Yeah, I guess they would be contemporaries, huh? But I honestly feel like they're both. So you think Denis or Nolan is the best? Of this d- generation. Director with with the everything around it. Everything. Y- yeah. Like the whole cinematography. Uh, I mean. Uh, everything. What I call that? Filmography. Everything. You think it's. I think those Nolan two. Nolan over him. I think it's. I think Nolan over him, but it's not by much. Okay. Like, they could you. almost probably be tied, especially after doing two. Yeah. Hans Zimmer has worked with both. I know. Like, they're so, the so two is, goats. Uh, this guy, right? Oh, no, he didn't. Never mind. I was going to say Ludwig, but he didn't do anything for... For not for the name, no. Yo, Hans Zimmer, the god, has worked with both. Like, True. he doesn't attach himself to just anything. He only attaches himself to greatness. Give me your top three Denis movies, if you can. Dune 2, Dune 1, Blade Runner 2049. God damn, bro. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Dune 2, 1. Dune 2, 1, Dune 1, 2, and Blade Runner 2049. He's your sci-fi god, huh? He is. He told told George Lucas, move the fuck on over. Hold this, bro. You quitter. You fucking sold it to Disney. Holy shit. I'm stepping in now. Now you have to watch Arrival. I do have to watch Arrival. Sci-fi, very sci-fi. I do have to watch Arrival. That's a fact. That movie's but crazy. He even does other shit like Prisoners, Sicario. Like he's Those not just two. a sci-fi guy. He's also just the guy. Blade Runner is three. Prisoners. Shout out to fucking Jake Gyllenhaal. The best performance he's ever given. Let's One see. of Hugh Jackman's best too. Honestly. True. This guy is real good in that too. Ooh. Terrence oh, Howard. Terrence Howard. He's yeah. fucking playing. And Viola Davis is in that movie. Paul Dano. Like, this shit's stacked. What the fuck? It's stacked. Anyways, Prisoners 2 and Sicario number one. Like, Emily Blunt, 
my boy fucking Benicio Del Toro yep. and uh, why am I Brolin? Josh, Josh Brolin. Brolin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Plays an evil motherfucker, so man. Fucking good, bro. Yeah, the knee, the knee goes crazy, man. He's 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 definitely. I I I kind of I know you're gonna be mad that I say this, but I I hope he does a movie that's not Dune related before he does another Dune. He probably will. I hope so. Because there's got to be some space in between what's happening between this and the third one. So as and far as like Nolan, years, if Nolan really makes a horror movie. Yeah, bro. Once I've seen that, once I've seen that, I'm like, this nigga, he doesn't, he's, he, I'm he just bust. pushes the limits and he'll fuck around and like drag two demons out of hell for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> He'll like yeah. dig himself into the depths of hell. There's no CG in this movie. It's an actual ghost in the corner. Yeah. It's like, like, all right, yo, all right, like, Chris. like same with Oppenheimer. Yo, this is a, <laughs> where, where, where there's no CGI for the bomb. Really did an atomic bomb. Yo, he's fucking. He stresses me out. He really went out there too. He yeah. was in fucking Los Alamos. Yeah. He's like, nah, we can't fake this. He and then we're in the desert in fucking uh, in Dune. Yeah. He stresses me it's crazy. out. Stresses me out too. He stresses me out. Crashed an I entire love him. fucking plane, bro. A real plane. I love him. Crashed it. But he stresses me out. You know how much World War Two fucking actual stuff that was in World War Two they bought and then just destroyed. Yeah, he's a fucking for fucking man. Dunkirk. He's an animal, bro. That's <laughs> my goat, though. That's my goat. Um, let me get another pizza actually before we start talking. Yeah, I brought up Hans Zimmer. Take your roni, bro. And. That Roni. Shit's so fucking greasy. It's going to take years off my life. But fuck it. Let's do it. That's that's no disparaging remark towards Francesco's. I'm having a good time. I'm having a great it's just a little time. Gre- I could just feel the heartburn. It's so greasy, man. Yeah, I'm going to need some Tums after this one, kid. Do you know which their top rated slice is of all time? I know you're going to say Patsy's, Patsy's but... Do you know what the number is? Like, what you gave it? Oh, Patsy's is 10 out of 10. Can't do that. It's 10 out of 10, bro. That's fucking neighborhood bias. Well, I was technically on the west side of Harlem. Patsy's oh, that's, that's is on east? the east side of Harlem. There was no bias. You've never been to Rayo's, right? No. It's like you can't get a table at Rayo's. Oh, yeah. I've never been there, but I know I know what Rayo's you're talking about. That's East Harlem. Mm-hmm. That's so strange. Like they rent, they people buy tables, and that's what it is. Like you just buy tables, and those people who have those tables will like give them to people on certain nights. But like you'll never get a table at Rayo's. Wild, unless you pay a fucking celebrity, which you won't because you don't know any. Um, um, my highest rated slice is Lay Industry in Brooklyn. It's in Williamsburg. All right. That's getting like a 9.7, 9.8. Oh. Yeah. And then Marvin is the second after that. I gave them a 9.5. But yeah, like you said about Anna's, bro, I can't wait for them. He, I was just talking to him the other day. He said the second week of April. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him post it, and I was like, let's fucking go. Um, and it's Vesuviano, man. I need more. Listen, I got fucking Francesco's. I like you, and I'm having a good time. And I've I've gone multiple times because it's near my job, and it's a good fucking solid slice. When you, when they reheat it right out the oven, eat it in your car. But I need more fucking char, bro. I need more crisp under there. As Dave calls it, the undercarriage. I need some more oomph. Nah, facts. Some more oomph on it. I went to fucking. Uh, I'm, I'm fighting. I'm fighting my heartburn right now. Um, I got. Oh, I got tickets to Hans Zimmer, dog, and it just makes me. Boston. Yeah, is he the? He's the goat for music, right? No. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. Come on. You think John Williams? <laughs> you don't think so? I respect it. I'm not, I can't, I respectfully can't have like a heated debate about this because like it's John Williams. I can't be like, yo, this dude's way better because he's not. But I think. John Williams is Star Wars, bro. I don't know. Jurassic Park. But Hans Zimmer is like. Jaws. Epic range. E.T. All right, Eric. 
Raiders of the Lost Ark. Should I go on? They're tied then. Should I go on? At least. <laughs> this fucking Nolan bias is going to give me a heart attack one day. No, it's Hans Zimmer, bro. No, it's not. No, it's not. Do you under... No. Do you think it's just Hans or you're not giving it any, no, it's any just Nolan Hans. bias? It's just Hans. All right. I respect it. He's done Lion... You didn't even know the other day he did Lion King. He did the original Lion King? Yes. Like, what parts, though? Because it's all sung songs, no? No, a lot of it is like the... Oh, you know what's Hans Zimmer? Oh, wow. That's kind of crazy. That's crazy. I hear you. All right. Listen, Lion King, get hit us off spot. Don't do that. That's cheating. He be doing shit for Planet Earth, those documentaries. I don't know if you watch those smacked. I do. And I'm I do like, sometimes. David Attenborough. I didn't even know it was him. David Attenborough. And I'm like, this shit is so fucking relaxing. And part of it is because fucking Hans Zimmer is doing It's not just Chris Nolan bias. I believe you. I'm telling you. I believe him. The Dune. I told you this the other day. If there was Chris Nolan bias, it would still probably be Interstellar. But, bro, I think I really like his body of work on the Dune movies more than Interstellar. What? I think I might. Blasphemous. I think I really might. Sacrilege. The only thing that will make me not say it, like, t- straight up is when I listen to Interstellar, I think of two things. How beautiful the movie is and my daughter. And you want to cry. Yeah. It's like a warm hug on a ride home. Who's your top three of all time? For what? Composers. It would be it would be those two, but it would be John first. You're talking strictly movies or just like I don't know, I don't movies. I was gonna say you want to bust out like Bach or some shit. <laughs> uh man. That's a good question. Who who would you put as your third? And these two are very close. Oh, I know who it is. Nolan. I know my third. Nolan. Why is he in Nolan? Zimmer. I mean, no. You fucking me up. And I'm high. Zimmer. Nolan bias. <laughs> Fro- Freudian <laughs> slip. <laughs> Zimmer. John Williams. And Ludwig, bro. Yeah, he's getting in there, huh? Ludwig is, uh, yo, he's done The Mandalorian. He's done, what else has he done? He did Tenet. I know, outside of... Tenet shit? Fucking crazy. The Oppenheimer one is generational. It, it is. is absolutely generational. Like, But that Freeport? Fucking dumb bitches on TikTok Freeport know what... Freeport goes crazy. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to listen yeah. to Freeport on the way home yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm smacked right now, and I'm having a good That's time. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Can you recreate that? Yeah. That was fine. Do it again. <laughs> Do it one more time if you can. If I you don't can. know if I have it in me. You got the gig. <laughs> <now. laughs> Yo, that shit goes so... Boy, John David Washington is fighting himself, and it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. Um, My third, Ennio Maracone. Yeah, yeah, he does like westerns, and he did the thing for John. Carpenter. I know. I was gonna say that's like a classic, John like Carpenter, I, the thing, and then he did, uh, he did um, the Hateful Eight for for uh, for Quentin. He actually won an Oscar for that. Shit, he certainly did. Shout out to Ludwig too. He won an Oscar. His work on the Mandalorian he too won two. is fire, huh? He won two. Ludwig. Isn't that his second one? Did he win one for Tenet? No, not for Tenet, but for something else. He, I remember he won an Emmy for The Mandalorian. No, oh, maybe that's it. Hey, I know that. Quick little transition. You watched Let's the talk Oscars? about it. You watched the Oscars? Yeah, you know I did. No, I did. What do you think? What do you think of the... They would call it a drubbing... And sports, you, you you know, like those those old casters be like, this was a drubbing, because <laughs> yo, they just won everything. Oppenheimer won Oppenheimer everything. S- this is like a sweep almost. Smoked them S- out of seven out of ten awards they won. Seven out of the big ten, yeah. Wild, crazy, but well deserved. 
editing, directing, best picture. So happy for Robert Downey. He deserves Robert it. Robert Downey Jr., supporting actor. Fucking uh, biggest Kill- comeback Killian story. Killian Murphy for, for best actor. In Hollywood. Side note, what best I score. want. What I want for fucking Shia LaBeouf. They want cinematography on that? They did. I think. Damn, that's fucking crazy. Just want everything. Um, Excuse me. What I want for Shia LaBeouf in the future is what Robert Downey Jr. has right now. Like a fucking phenomenal comeback. That's a good. That's a good little. Like, like it that. just gives me hope. Like yo, no bullshit, bro. Because I really love Shia LaBeouf, Damn. and this is a little side quest here. But like, I couldn't help but think of him first when Robert Downey won that award because I remember watching Iron Man and getting ready to watch Iron Man, and my dad like showed me uh, Less Than Zero with Robert Downey mm-hmm. Jr. and he pretty much like played himself. Like yeah. he was a he was a fuck up, and he was fucking drugs and off the rails and he got locked up and he comes back with Iron Man, but he really, really comes all the way back in his role in Oppenheimer. And it's like, yo, like, you know what he did the year before Iron Man? Zodiac. That's he, better than the, the Oppenheimer performance. For real. Yeah, nah, he did. But like mainstream comeback, I'm saying like that, the oh, Iron Man was I'm like, just, yeah, yeah, but he did I'm do just that. Riffing. He did do that. He did fucking do that. Forgot about that. That's the last movie I I, I streamed. What's the last movie you watch in general? What's the last movie I watched in my, general? Mine was Zodiac. I rewatched it the other night. Classic. That's coming to this podcast. It was Ghostbusters, actually. Oh, yeah? It was still Ghostbusters, yeah. Before that, like, the last movie I watched in general was... Uh, what did I watch the other day? Inception. Yeah. At the barbershop, I was cutting away and fucking watch, and I was just like, yo, like, I was just trying to go back to, like, Nolan's early hits and shit, man, and I'm like, yo, this nigga, like, is a fucking animal. Honestly, hot take, one of my least favorites. I remember you told me that, don't, and I don't... Don't love that from me. I don't from, understand from Nolan. it, but I love you anyway, bro, you know what and I mean? I should love it, because I have a very, uh, I have a big affinity for dreams, I just, I never really could get into it. Maybe the next watch will be the one. Just... Solidify. Maybe. It's fire. And then we'll do an episode, maybe, you know. Um, but we got a lot of things coming, man. We don't want to fucking drag this along. We've been ha- I've been having f- I've had a lot of fun. These fucking vanilla things smack like crazy. I'm up here. I'm I can't eat them all on you. Thank you, man. Um, Let's pop pop another one of them drinks real quick. What do we got over here? We got a minute maid. One of the minute maids. I know that one that one with the yellow cap is fire, the Tropicana. Well, let's fucking do it. We got a couple things coming, man. A24, if you guys didn't hear about it, um, Eric didn't. So let me fact check myself. Nah, it's, I, I read it somewhere. A24 is doing a whole, like, IMAX re-release with a lot of their greatest hits. Uncut Gems, fucking Hereditary, Midsommar. Um, are we sure? Huh? Oh, you're looking at these? Yeah. Are we sure that these are not edibles? Because I'm, like, smacked. <laughs> Maybe what, the dab what, what was, was crazy. What, was in the, what kind of hash you got? Mac Daddy. Like it? I love it. Why is that? Is it something that I shouldn't love? Or if it's, I have no fucking idea. I don't know what it is. He's about to blow mine right now and be like, yo, it's a fucking sativa. That shit's good. I'll lose my mind. They're doing that. Sony is doing uh, their, uh, they, they got like a hundred year anniversary thing for like Sony and Columbia. So they're, with that, they're re releasing their, probably Sony's like most popular couple franchises, the Spider Man movies, every Monday. And me and Eric are going to do our reviews on, I'm down for on that. those. And uh, we're going to come back with all the other shit. So strap in, motherfuckers. Have any ideas on what you want to do movie wise? We'll talk about that off off the air. These mother, you guys can't know everything, you know. True. If you have any uh, suggestions for movies, yeah, hit us up. Just throw us down. movies, drop and we'll down. come up with the food shit. Or if you want to throw the food shit in there too, you know, let's work for us. Watch some movies. Watch some good movies. Eat some good food. Share that with good people. Thank you for coming along. See you next time.